Five days till NaNoWriMo. This is Anna. She runs the Facebook page Creative Teen Writers with me. Link to that in the underbar. She's a fantastic co-admin and I'm super psyched to have her on the vlog today. Hi everyone. Some of you may know me as Danica from Creative Teen Writers. We have talked a lot about NaNoWriMo in the past episodes, but why do writers choose to do this crazy thing? Anna, why do you do it? Well, I found out about NaNo last year in the middle of November, and ever since then I've been really excited to try it out. Even though I love writing, I've never actually finished a novel, and NaNo will definitely help me with that. To be surrounded by other people who love writing as much as I do, who I know will be there to help and support me, is an amazing feeling. And I know they'll be there to help me finish my novel, even if it's sucky. Exactly! It's all about getting support to help you finish a book. So this is your first year. How are you feeling about it? Excited, nervous, but mostly excited. It's a bit stressful to think about NaNo because 1,667 words in a day is a lot to write, and to do that 30 days in a row is a bit daunting. Agreed. 1,667 words is a lot. How do you plan to get them all written? I will have to give some things up. Writing will replace many things I love to do, like reading, watching Doctor Who, and spending hours on YouTube. But writing is something I also love to do, and I should be doing more of it. NaNo will definitely help me with that. Giving up Doctor Who is the hard one. We're giving up Doctor Who? What? Chill news. All we have to do is write 1667 words a day and then we can watch all the Doctor Who we want. And Castle? And Castle. So, how are you preparing for NaNoWriMo? I'm eating lots of sugar and getting myself used to not sleeping. I was talking to Anna. I got my idea a few weeks ago and I should be writing character sheets or plot outlines, but instead all I'm doing is writing down ideas when they come to me. Whether that's in the middle of a math class or when I'm about to fall asleep, I'll grab a pen and paper and write down whatever comes to me. What I'm doing isn't necessarily bad, but I do feel as if I should be doing more. I think what you're doing sounds perfect. I've gone a bit to the extreme with my character sheets and my outlines and my visual board. Oi! Don't diss the visual board! But that's not really necessary. Mostly it's about coming up with ideas and making sure those ideas are still around in November when you need them. So what are you doing to prepare for NaNoWriMo? Are you excited or terrified? Let us know as a comment or a video response. We really love hearing from you guys. Today's novel idea, courtesy of writingforward.com, link in the underbar, is this. A deadly virus hits a highly populated metropolitan area, killing thousands of people. And after it passes, those who survive start realizing they have acquired bizarre and impossible new talents. Thanks for watching, and happy writing!